Hey guys, if you have not been following the videos this week, please, please, please go back and look at them because it talks about who you are and who I am in Christ, what he's done for us, what he's secured for us. And this, this is just one list. I can make another, a bunch of other lists, but this is one list that you can sink your teeth in and, and, and know who you are in Christ Jesus. Amen. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. We'll start with 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19. It says, I am a minister, or you are a minister of reconciliation. You say, wait a minute, Keith. Now you've gone too far. I'm not a minister. Yes, that's exactly what you're called to do, to, to help reconcile others to Christ. Just like we said this week that you have been reconciled to Christ. You've been made right. You can have a personal relationship with him. The doors have been opened up because of what Christ has done for you so that you can have this personal, intimate relationship with God. But now you are called to that ministry of reconciliation so that others, too, can come to know Jesus Christ as Lord. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, it says, Some are called to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Now, that's me. I'm a pastor. I'm a teacher. I'm also an evangelist at times, too. But some are called to do those things. What for? It goes on to say, for the equipping of the saints to do the ministry. You are the saint. See, I'm here to teach you to go be a minister of reconciliation. Take the message that I teach and go share with others so that they too can come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Um, you are also the salt of the earth. We talked about this a little bit yesterday. That's in Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Verse 14, it says, you are the light of the world. So you're the salt of the earth. You're what gives flavor to this earth. You're, you're what, what makes people thirsty and hungry for the things of God. That's what you and I should be as, as ministers of reconciliation. And we're the light of the world. Uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, are you ready for this one? Come on. Here we go. It says that you are a sweet aroma of the fragrance of Christ. Let me read it for you. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. It says, Now thanks be to God who always leads me in triumph through Christ Jesus. <laughs> always. doesn't say sometimes. It says, Thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph through Christ Jesus and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. That's what we're here for, to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. That's what we do. We're the fragrance of, of, of the knowledge of him, and we take it into the world. It goes on to say, for we are to God. Now listen to this. This is verse 15, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To the one we are the aroma of death leading to death, and the other the aroma of life leading to life, and who is sufficient for these things. Now I want to share just a little testimony here of what this really means. There was a time a while back when somebody at a cutting horse show said something really ugly to me. There was a whole group of people standing around, they heard it. And he says, all you do is torment us, that's why you come and hang out here all the time. Well, trust me, I'm not there to torment anybody and I don't force anybody to come to my church services. But he said that to me, it broke my heart because I thought he was a friend. Several hours later, this was a cutting horse trainer, several hours later, one of his best customers walked by me and said, hey Keith, I'm so glad that you're here all the time because the man that you teach you know, the godly man that you talk about, that's the kind of man I want to be. But I get here and I'm around my friends and sometimes the language gets a little crazy and I do some stupid things. But he said, as soon as I see you walk by, it reminds me, no, I want to be a man of God. I want to be something special. I want to be an ambassador of Christ. I want to be all those things. So he says, thanks for coming. Then I realized to the one, see, I was the aroma of death unto death. He said that I was there just to torment him. The other one said that he was glad I was there because I brought the very fragrance of Christ into the situation. Do you see how that works? That's how God wants to use you and I. Second Corinthians uh, 
uh, I'm sorry, Romans chapter 8, here's a very important one. Romans chapter 8, verse 29 says, I'm going to be fully conformed to the likeness of Christ. God has already decided that. This is not something you do. This is something that God is doing you and I, uh, in you and I. He is conforming us into the image of his son. Stay close to God. Final one, here we go. Romans chapter 8, verse 39 and 40. I am secure in Christ. Nothing will be able to separate me from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus my Lord. Boy, shout hallelujah. Hey, I love you. Jesus loves you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him. And remember, go to church tomorrow. We love you. We love you. Talk to you later.